Thank you very much, Fiona, and everyone present in this room. Thank you very much for sharing them with uh, APPG and International Freedom of Religion in Delhi. So briefly, I'll, I'll uh, talk about our creed work in Pakistan. In Pakistan, we are working under the coalition building theme uh, with an aim to study, document, and decrease the marginalization of religious minority communities by promoting freedom of religion or belief or none. Since these communities are facing extreme marginalization in every form of life and are socially excluded, through our work we have established networks amongst youth, uh, women, and various stakeholders. We have focused on the communities and neighborhoods facing extreme poverty and marginalization, built capacity of local grassroots community women, youth activists, mobilizers, uh, and leaders by supporting them with available resources or small grants so they can identify, lead, and implement the most crucial development needs in their neighborhoods in available resources. And we had adapted a local term, Rabadar, that means someone who accepts others with an open mind and formed Rabadar committees of local women and community activists who actively, actively participated and led the work in their communities. We have seen that this has resulted in, uplift, uh, in uplifting their morale and the sense of community among the residents in these respective neighborhoods. A very brief background to our intervention is, as we all are very well aware of the plight of religious minority communities in Pakistan, more to it that we have observed how youth and women among these communities, they experience further marginalization due to their vulnerability. Lack of education, unemployment, poverty, and constant discrimination have badly, badly affected the youth. And as a result, many young men in these communities, specifically in Christian communities, turn to drug and alcohol. Women, on the other hand, are rarely seen actively engaging and particip participating in community issues. And we have noticed uh, their voices are totally missing from community affairs due to being part of a patriarchal society. So through Creed program, uh, we have worked in six neighborhoods uh, with Christian low-income neighborhoods, Joseph Colony and Yohanabad in Lahore, Rimsha Colony, 66 quarter, again two Christian uh, informal settlements in Islamabad, the capital of Pakistan, one Shia low-income uh, neighborhood in Islamabad and one in Karachi, Balti Basti. In every neighborhood, we work with local interlocutors and community activists with an approach that allowed us to study and understand the local dynamics first, establish connection between our local partners and these community people. And we use participatory methodology developed by brilliant colleagues at the IDS that helped us building cons consensus in a democratic way and help the residents in prioritizing their issues based on the most urgent needs of the neighborhood. In Joseph Colony, for example, which is a poor Christian neighborhood of around 2,000 residents in Lahore, in the Punjab province of Pakistan. So in 2013, uh, over 150 homes and two churches were burnt uh, by, extremist, by an extremist mob over a false accusation of blasphemy, which, is, which has become, unfortunately, a norm in Pakistan. And with this traumatic past that had only worsened the living conditions for them, the residents had to travel to neighboring Muslim uh, community to access clean drinking water despite the hostile environment and it was specifically difficult for women to access on what uh, access the water due to the distance and our local partners they worked with the community members to install a water filtration plant uh, that according to locals the neighbor uh, the local neighborhoods they were demanding for past 20 years the community invited the local MP for the launch uh, and that helped actually boosted their morale from the you know stories we have we have been hearing in 66 quarter and Rimsha colony the two other poor christian settlements we work with the local women most of them they either work as domestic help or daily wage workers and Rimsha colony is again an informal settlement at the outskirts of Islamabad with no water electricity and basic necessities in 2013 when a minor seven year, seven year old Rimsha Masi uh, was charged with the false blasphemy allegation. The government had moved the entire neighborhood to this piece of land due to fear of violence against them, uh, against uh, them by the uh, by the extremist mobs. So we supported women to organize health camps for their fellow community women and children. And here I would like to share some reflections. 
So we have learned that one of the reasons why we as Creed has been, success, have been successful in working with these communities is the strategy and the methodology. Throughout the entire process, we took participatory approach where our work and research were guided by the communities we have been working with. This helped us and our local partners to build and develop mutual trust without which intervention would not have been possible at all. And these communities, because you know they don't trust outsiders and even the NGOs at times. So we have learned that the need is to invest more development energy and resources into these communities in terms of education, creating opportunities, especially for women and youth, strengthening and building capacity. And they can be achieved by A, investing time, be listening to them, them and their grievances that we have learned that this is so, so important and adapting a flexible approach because their lives are not easy at all. And then women participation. So I want to stress uh, that women are crucial behind <coughs> community ownership of any project. And we have learned that they, are, they, they bring nuances. So we were able to help them forming women only committees to work for the issues specific to the women. And we have learned that the small scale tangible projects that contribute or positively affect their daily lives, such as installation of lights, as you mentioned, organizing health camps that are focused on women and children with a bottom-up approach can be helpful in reducing their daily sufferings and engaging these disenfranchised and secluded communities. And these projects may not necessarily and obviously cannot end their sufferings, but bring significant change in amplifying their visibility into the development and also encourage women participation. And I would emphasize to uh, create flexible funding opportunities, projects and invest in local organizations, local community women, local youth, and support and facilitate community activist projects that are led and owned by the community. And these learnings uh, can also be used for the future uh, UK policy. And if I have a minute, I would like to share uh, a quote uh, you know, of, a, of a female resident of 66 quarter. So these are the words of a female resident, Huma Amini from 66 quarters, a Christian uh, slum in Islamabad. People are happy because lights and cameras stop others from th throwing garbage in the nala, the sewage. Children also play in the light after dark. Now they can play safely. I can go to the other side of the colony without any fear. And this is our committee's achievement. Thank you.